So I'd like to bring up our next speaker, Stephen Cooper. I love his title um, because he's not only the vice president of Winchester Thurston, he's also their outdoor education coordinator, school nurse, and PE department. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> that says it all. Uh, he's also part of our Green and Healthy Schools Academy, so I welcome to the stage, Stephen. I've got less hair than that picture shows there. Um, so, I have a confession to make. Although I am an elementary school teacher, um, growing up, I absolutely hated school. I despised it. Every second I was a prison every single day. Um, and the reason I tell you this is because my favorite moments in elementary school were recess and fire drills. <laughs> now, those were the only times that we were actually allowed to go outside for some reason at my school. And if you were to ask me at the time, you know, what do you like about the outdoors, you know, as an eight-year-old, I probably would have said, you know, because it's fun. And for those moments, I completely forget that I'm outside. Now, I do have to say it's not my school's fault. I know I was a very big knucklehead. Um, I could not sit still. I was, had trouble paying attention, trouble focusing. I didn't follow directions. Um, in my report card, it actually had the words ants in his pants. <laughs> um, so when I started at Winchester Thurston, um, I started working there. My very first day, I made sure that I declared I was not going to let any knuckleheads left behind. I was going to make their education so engaging and exciting and fun that they would forget that they were at school in a good way, not even realize that they were learning. Now, how do you do this? Well, I, my plan was to get them outside as much as humanly possible. So I went to the administration and I said, all right, this is my plan. We're going to be outside all day doing all of our lessons outside. And they asked why. And, you know, and the eight-year-old me was like, because it's fun, right? <laughs> they didn't handle that real well. But what has to happen is I needed more information then. I needed to find out what were the benefits of having kids go outside. So I did a review of as many different case studies as I could find. And I have to say that I found overwhelming support that says that we need to get kids outside as much as possible. Thank you very much. That's my mother. Thank you. No, um, so, um, so what I found was the more that the kids spend outside, the healthier they are, the happier they are, the more resilient they are, the better problem solvers they are, and also the smarter they are. Um, they show greater interest in the STEM subjects, and they score higher on tests than kids that don't go outside. All right. So this is great and all. all right. So I go to my staff, and I talk to all the administrators, and I talk to the staff, and we start getting kids outside every single day. And one of the, in the pocket of those studies that I found that really rates, relates to tonight and relates to some of my beliefs is that the more that we get kids outside, the stronger of an investment they have in their natural world and the greater their appreciation for their national world, natural world. Um, and as a follow-up to that, as adults, they become more advocates and they become stronger invested and they want to fight and protect what they love. So as adults, they end up becoming these advocates for this land. They've got greater interest in water quality, air quality, and wildlife management, and on and on and on. So I'm very excited to say that our students right now, we spend at least 90 minutes outside every single day, at a minimum, regardless of the time of year, regardless of the season. All right. And as a result of that, our kids are going to graduate, all right, becoming advocates, becoming civil-minded citizens, all right, who are going to be stewards for our natural world, and they're going to fight and protect for a just, vibrant, healthy, sustainable future. The planet is in good hands. Right? But what about my knuckleheads, right? What about the knucklehead kids that I swore when I started I was not going to leave any knuckleheads behind, right? I think of all those kids that are squirrely in classroom, and I wanted to take, take them with me and have be part of this. So I think about our third graders, right? Third grade classes are filled with knuckleheads. Our third graders study the pioneers, and at, 
at the end of their unit, they have a day, a pioneering day, which they are all go outside and they spend outside all day long, living, working, playing, and even dressing up as the pioneers. They start with chores in the morning and they're building, we have a big campfire and they cook out on the fire and they're fixing fences and they actually study underneath the trees with these little chalkboard slates that they work on. Then at the end of the day, we all get together and as a community, we build a log cabin. And it's an actual structural log cabin that I have to get a permit for from Hampton Township, but <laughs> just like the early Americans, right? Um, so they notch out the logs using the same building techniques and using the same tools that the pioneers you do. And that's the boys and the girls and everyone participates in this. Then we sit inside and we have a great wrap up session there. So this past year we had something significant happen to me is um, after we built it, we climbed out of the woods and we head back to the school. And as we go into the classroom, we see all the buses line up at our school and parents are waiting. It's the end of the day and we're running a little late, so there's a lot of hustle and bustle. And I'm counting the heads and sure enough, we're missing one kid. <laughs> so I vowed I would not leave any knuckleheads behind and, and I realized who's missing? The biggest knucklehead in the class. Um, so is this young girl who's wonderful, very nice, but is a knucklehead, right? So then I, I'll go get her. So I turn around and I race out of the school and I'm running up to the field. And as I'm running, I start getting mad. I'm like furious. So you got parents waiting and buses are waiting and I'm running up and I know she's playing in that log cabin. We're running up there and I'm thinking, how could you be left behind? How could you not be focused? How can you not pay attention? Follow the directions. We all left at the same time. How could you not see that? And I'm getting angry. I go racing into the log cabin and it hits me. She's sitting there on the floor playing with the corn stalks, these two little corn stalks, and she's acting like they're two little pioneers. And she's making them talk, and, la, 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 and she's singing. And I see the two little pioneers building a little log cabin out of sticks inside of the big log cabin that we just made. Uh, she looks up, thinks I'm really mad and gonna be screaming at her, which I was this close to. She looks up to me and she says, oh, Mr. Cooper, I'm so sorry. I was having so much fun, I completely forgot that we were at school. Thank you for your time. Thank you. So before I get your reaction, I have to read you this one. What is a place you love and why? Winchester Thurston North Hills Campus because of Steve Cooper. <laughs> so reactions. Nailed the ending? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Priceless. Yeah. So validation and encouragement and yeah, support. <laughs> okay. So what is a place you love and why? Redwood Regional Park in Oakland, California. Easy to get to, beautiful, and hours of hiking available. Cleveland Rock in McConnell's Mill State Park, a sacred rock that my two childhood best friends have been sitting on together for over 20 years. So the places that we return to over and over in our mind and physically. The Gap Bike Trail, because it makes my backyard 130 plus miles long. <laughs> Rivers and bullfrogs and hills and lots of smiling folks in our region. Lying under an old tree and looking up, new perspective and awareness, beauty, movement, light. <laughs>